Hey everybody, Jared with Second Life Design. I uh, got a pretty fun video this time. Uh, this is going to be the world's first sawmill drag race. Um, this is going to be between myself with my Alaskan mill and Aaron Hyatt of Hyatt Woodworking and his Lucas mill. Uh, I'm going to be showing a couple different clips, a couple different runs that we made throughout the day and go a lot of information uh, covering the Lucas mill and just kind of what our impressions were of everything and go from there i i met aaron uh th think about three years ago through instagram uh, another local younger woodworker started hanging out a little bit talking shop and we both at the same time decided we needed to get into milling our own logs uh, we were both taking logs to local sawyers uh, with bandsaw mills with wood misers or whatever and their max capacity was 24 26 inches and that just didn't work uh, that we wanted bigger so i of course went my route he went his route with the lucas mill and this is kind of the first time we had them together and uh, been, had comparably sized logs um, we're both cutting on some ash logs today they're about five and a half feet long uh, 40 inch rough width uh, mine has a little bit more taper uh, we'll get some different angles on it you'll see um, as you can already see, Aaron's through his first cut. Um, we established throughout the multiple cuts that he is about twice as fast as I am. Uh, the Lucas mill is it's kind of similar to a chainsaw mill in that it has a chainsaw bar, um, but instead of a, a chainsaw power head, it's, tw it's turned by a 23 horsepower V-twin gas engine, like a Briggs & Stratton gas engine. So he has quite a bit more horsepower than I do. He's about three times the horsepower I am. On that same idea, he's about a third of the RPM that I am, where my engine's about seven and a half, a little bit more uh, horsepower, 12,000 RPM. He is at 23 horsepower, 4,000 RPM. Um, another big difference between us is our chain. I'm running standard rip chain, and he is running... Um, what they call like a hyper skip where he has a, two cutters about eight inches of free space on the chain and then two more cutters and it repeats itself again so uh, a whole heck of a lot less teeth than i have which gives me some ideas about uh, some experimenting with chains i might try but um similar kind of setups definitely not bandsaws that was our what well, there is no commercially available really wide bandsaw mill so this is why we went the directions we did uh, we're going to get a different angle here in just a second on the Lucas mill. Uh, there's plenty of good videos on chainsaw milling, so I'm not going to go too in, too big into that as far as an Alaskan mill. Uh, the Lucas mill, you can see, is, is four posts, two long rails. The rails are about 20 feet long. I think he has a max cutting length of like 17 feet. Um, you can see we're both pushing on the carriages. Mine is referencing the log, and his is riding along the two long rails. So... Similar in theory, but different in horsepower, speed, etc. So, uh, where mine is referencing the log, his uh, the the carriage is what's adjustable. Those those long rails go up and down and can go at different angles, and that's what sets his cutting height, cutting depth, etc. So, it's uh, an Australian product. Um, you've seen them before. A lot of commercial guys have them. Definitely more of a commercial application use. It is something that is was definitely out of my price range at the time, but if you're into productivity, it is definitely the way to go. All right, here's our last run for the day. Um, get started here. This one is in about twice the speed. Um, I've sped this up a little bit. Um, it takes me a little bit longer to get engaged. Since I am referencing the log, I have to kind of get started till the mill is kind of sitting on there squarely. Um, it doesn't really matter for these purposes because Aaron was, was twice as fast as I was, so it doesn't really account for much. Um, back to the chain for just a little bit. We were doing some looking and some talking and after and kind of decided that a, a semi-skip or a full-skip chain with a milling profile might be the best. Um, the biggest thing we're fighting, and anyone who's milling will tell you, is getting the chips, dust, whatever, out of the kerf is the biggest problem. So I may do some experimenting with a semi-skip chain or a full skip chain and try and see what that does for my, my own benefits. Um, on the other side, Aaron had never seen a chainsaw mill running, so I think he was kind of interested to see uh, how much 
less setup that I took compared to him. Um, his takes a little bit, since the log is just sitting on the ground and he has to get his carriage parallel to everything, it takes a little bit more setup than what mine does. So there's differences. I don't know if there be benefits. There, I'm just we're gonna call them differences. Um, with the Alaskan mill, it is definitely a cheaper option. It is more of an everyman option, um, more universal. Something we had said that with the Alaskan mill, you can take the chainsaw, then cut the tree down, and then mill it. Where with Aaron's setup, he still has to have a big chainsaw. So that's another consideration as well. Um, as you can see, he's starting on his second cut, and I'm still going through my first. That goes back to the 2 to 1 speed factor. In real time, this was about 5 minutes for my cut, so he's about 2.5 minutes per cut. These were pretty big logs. They were pretty wide, um, average width of about 40 inches or so. So either way, I don't know if it's... One, one is, mine is slower, but I don't know that it's slow. Um, for what I'm doing and kind of the time frame of it, 5 minutes per cut is still pretty good to me. Um, it still it wouldn't take me all day to mill this log, so is it slower? Absolutely, but I don't know that it's slow. So, as you can see, he's just finishing up with his second cut, so he definitely lapped me on this. Um, we're going to wrap up here. Uh, definitely give Aaron a follow on Instagram at Hyatt Woodworking, H-I-A-T-T -T Woodworking. Really talented woodworker, really good designs and everything he does. Um, definitely follow him. You can learn a lot of good stuff, just like I have. Um, of course, give me a subscription on here. Any questions, comments, leave them below. You can find me on Instagram at Second Life Design. And thank you.